All right, today is Blade Friday, the day after Halloween. I think I'll be watching a couple of episodes of Kung Fu from, let's see, I think that was uh, 1974, around there. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like uh, 1974, 75. How long ago was that? Gosh, that must be 40, 50 years ago. Uh, David Carradine was a fairly good <clears throat> kung fu. Not great. He always used his uh, bare feet or bare knuckles. And today, being Blade Friday, we're going to look at the knife made in USA. And it is actually called Bare Knuckle 7777. Uh, made in Tula Latin, Oregon. There's their phone number, website. Let's take a look at this little blade. It's called a bare knuckle. <clears throat> it's a flipper. It is a non-assisted flipper. It does have some traction notches on the little flipper. One, two, three, four. That is an anodized aluminum set of scales. It's got a deep carry pocket clip, but that pocket clip, a little stiff. It could be about a half an inch longer, two-way. Now you can see the spacer right there. It's kind of, it's a nylon, plastic nylon spacer. Nicely cut out, I like that design. Now it is a non-assisted, so it doesn't flip out there. Just with a little wrist, comes out nice and easy. Uh, it's got ball bearings in the pivot. And the blade is stonewashed 14C28N Sandvik. I like that blade shape, and it does have some nice traction notches on the thumb ramp. See how big this thing is. Looks like about three, maybe three and a half inch blade. Overall, it is right around eight inches. See how much this thing weighs. So this little bare knuckle weighs 3.6 ounces. That's not bad. And it has what Kershaw is calling a subframe lock. That lock is kind of attached to the frame. Not really part of the frame itself. Works just fine. Like I said, you gotta flip it out there just a little bit. A very nice looking knife. Let's see how sharp it is. Not that sharp, not razor sharp by any means. And it's not too bad. Could use a little bit of touching up, but overall it's pretty sharp. Let's do one final test. And it is the drop test from anywhere from 18 to 24 inches. Okay, so this little bare knuckle passes the drop test into that pine board target. So yeah, I'd say a USA made knife by Kershaw definitely deserves just a little cowbell.
نقبام